All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. I think so. This is episode five. Anyway, we've got the new recipe. We've got the. What's this? Copper and iron gives us 20 copper ore recipe. The alternate copper rotor recipe. And then we got the alternate iron, stitch iron recipe. Hmm. Hmm. This will be good later on down the track. This is not bad, but it just means that we need copper to make rotors, which isn't a horrible thing. And same thing with this one. It just needs need copper. Uh, you need copper to make wire. Yeah, I'm going to consult my little Thing again and we'll see what I come up with I'll be right back all right so after much deliberation both are good recipes this is the more late game recipe this is a good all-round recipe uh, but I'm going with this one for now because even though we don't have a foundry to make those things as it said we needed a foundry for it um, Even though we don't have a foundry for it, we may as well get it and eventually use it instead of not having it uh, The next thing is I'm gonna also do this research because I found some nuts Cool and last one is mycelia that and rotors. This is really cool. It essentially is a full heal with mycelia, which is really cool. This is a late game recipe as well. That's okay. And then sulfur to produce a lot of things. And these two will get in time when we find them. All right. Let's put the organics away. Let's put that away, that away, because we don't need it right now. So next thing we need because we have, so next thing we're producing when we're making another assembler to make our rotors, right? So we're making rotors. Rotors require rods and screws. For that, we'll need two constructors now instead of three, because we can do one constructor for rods, one constructor for um, our screws. We can use one smell tree and we'll be good. This working fine. Um. I'm gonna do it out here, why not? So I've got that one there, that one there. So this one needs 15. This one needs 12 and a half. So we need one smelter. And we know that the Rotor. Rotor needs 5 and 25 to produce 4 minutes. Right? So... Wait. Do I have an assembler? Can I put down an assembler? Yes, we can. Okay. I'm gonna put down the assembler. Uh, let's put it in the same line as this. Right? I'm gonna stand... I'm gonna stand roughly in the middle of these and then put down the assembler in line with that and in line with me. All right, so to make rotors, what do we need? We need 20 rods and 100 screws per minute. We'll produce 50 and 15. 50 and 15. We can do this in... Wait. I think I found a worm, a slug recently. Did I find a slug recently? Thought I found a slug recently. Damn it. Yeah, I don't have any slugs in my inventory. Don't have any slugs in there. Can I look for slugs? Can look from that there. Okay, I need to. I don't need to. 
No, bugger. I'm not going to do it as 100% efficient. What I'm going to do. I'm going to be very naughty. Do that. Same thing as before. I'm going to get that splitter there again. I shouldn't. I know I shouldn't. But uh, attack it on here for now. Because I, for one, I don't think we need as many rotors. And two, I think so will be okay even if we don't get enough rotors. But I think we may struggle on power because ah, because we are currently consuming that much. We are adding four, eight, twelve, and then another fifteen. So we're adding twenty-one. Is that fifteen? Yes. Uh, twelve plus fifteen. No, that is twenty-seven. Do we have 27 worth of capacity left? No, we don't. We are using at about 101. So we don't have the right capacity left. Mm. Mm. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do this. Let's make some foundations out here and put down another one of these fellas. Give him some power. Ah. Yeah. So now we're going to have more headroom which should be okay i don't think so we because soon after this we shouldn't be requiring as much stuff to make really so and i'm gonna put this in the middle because why not so this will start making our rotors. We produce enough screws. Well, we're going to produce half the amount of screws. Uh, let's go 50 because then we'll use half the amount of screws and half the amount of rods. And then I can set this to, I think so would be 10. And what I'll do, I'll go and grab some rods and screws and just kind of jump start the system a little bit because downside is now we need to use come on yeah. we need to use these rotors and we need to use these rotors and plates for something completely different. Ah. Like we've got these going now, huh? Boom. And we need rotors. Hey, Automation at its finest. Okay, let's get this there. And why you may be asking is, am I doing it like Legs. One, I'm lazy. And 
two. The next thing we're making, we don't need much of really. We're making smart plating. We were told by, uh, what's her name, Ada, a while ago that smart plating we can't make by hand. So there's no point trying, apparently, according to her, because it's too difficult of a recipe, apparently. Oof, that was a bad one. All right, let's, let's try to get that straight. And I think so there. And, oh no. Get you out from underneath. And no. Damn it. Supposed to be like two, two ticks, and then that should be straight. No. no. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Uh, I'm not gonna spend more time. I might fix it up off sc off screen, but yeah. No power, this will take rotors, that will take thing, and we are good, I think. Because really, I don't... Not that I don't think we will need too much, but... Also, this is not that much of a requirement. How are we doing on that? We've got a capacity of 150, we're consuming 120. I think we're doing okay. We're doing okay. So now we've... Essentially, what we've done... We've gone and automated pretty much all the things we need to except for modular frames. So modular frames is another really annoying one. It requires our reinforced iron plates and rods. For that, I think, yeah, we'll, we will tap into another one out that way and get it on. But what I do want to show is a really, really cool building. It's one of our special buildings, it's a space elevator. So the space elevator will help us get into tier three. Wait, why am I jumping all the way to tier three if I still don't have everything else done? So let's get our awesome resource sink. As the name suggests, awesome. Because what it does, it essentially, it'll use, yeah, it'll use, It'll, oh my god, wow, I can't speak right now. It, it will use any excess stuff that we produce or we can put it into there and it will give us points. What these points... Awesome sink, awesome shot. So let's go and grab this. So the awesome shop, I'll put it next to our hub. Right, so with the awesome shop, we can do quite a lot of things. We can buy panels, we can buy lighting, which actually might be really cool. Uh, might be something I look at to getting we can buy stairways everything like that foundations one thing i want to get is these corner foundations so these are really cool and you also get you know expansion stuff you can get some glass foundations you can get quarter pipes a double ramp that's actually really cool uh there's vehicles you can get a little fix-it car there's statues you can get a lizard doggo statue if you really want. It has equipment as well, so you can buy beacons here instead of making it. You can get a coffee cup and you can buy parachutes. And you can also get parts for pretty much anything. 
and it will be X number of parts for X number of uh, coupons, which, you know, if you're in a bind and you need a stack of parts, if you have extra coupons lying around, why not, right? Okay, so that's the Fig Awesome Shop. Now, Awesome Sink. Oh, we need lights. So the Awesome Sink is essentially something that we drop stuff into, right? It will take some power. I think so it only needs power when it's working. But yeah, you see points till next coupon and to give it points, I think so we have to manually manually feed it. Oh no, we can't manually feed it, I don't think. No, we can't manually feed it. We have to use a storage or, you know, any sort of belt. No. Organization, storage. Da -da -da. Why? Encroaching on others. Ah. I know, I know, not good, but this is to show kind of what what this does. So we'll give it one smart, smart plate because, you know, smart plates are a very complex recipe. We'll put smart plates in. We had zero points. Now I have 80 points. Wow, this thing takes a lot of power to run, huh? So it took quite a bit of power and from smart plates you get quite a few quite a few points huh and yeah uh say if we put uh maybe if i break this for a little bit and let's give ourselves some head i'm not sure how much power that thing will use but so, you know, we can put in, say, cables. Not as complex of a recipe. Cables will go in. So we know smart plates, but ton of points. Cables, not as many. Right? Seems, what's that? Oh my god, 20 six points or something like that and now we've got a coupon right as you use this as you know you put more things into it coupons are more and more expensive and you know as things go the more complex things are they more they'll give you points i haven't seen ooh, Let's see how many points this one thing does. So we're going from 784 to, so that was 48. So 48 points for our solid biomass. I'm just very tempted just to kind of put in more, more things just to see how much they kind of give us. But, Apart from awesome, we can do the next thing, which is requiring jump pads. Jump pads are something we won't use too often. Uh, they are, I find them like pretty cool bits of kit. Uh, can I grab it? Can I grab it from inside? Will you let me grab? Yeah. Okay. That's a lot of rotors, but ro rotors are cheap-ish. It's just really annoying to make. So I'm gonna go and grab me a lot of rotors. Do I have enough stuff for 50 rotors? No. Wrong way. So... I'm gonna grab enough stuff for 50 rotors and then I'll be right back.
Okay, so I'm back and we're gonna f uh, quickly finish this one up. Essentially trying to get as much as I can done in this episode so that we can jump into the next tier. And... Yeah. So our jump pads are pretty cool. We got, uh, where are they? I think so, they're in transportation. Jump pads and you, you jelly landing pads. These both are stuff that require power. One throws you in the air, one catches you. Essentially, you just kind of drop into it. But one thing you'll notice on the right, I have something called a space elevator. Why do I have that? Because as you see, we can't go to tier three, tier four, tier five, tier six, tier seven, tier eight. To get to tier three, it says a complete space elevator phase one. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go and actually complete this requirement. The space elevator is a really big building. Hence, you know, all the requirements of materials. So I'm gonna get all the materials. Let's get some iron plates. Let's get some iron rods. And let's get a lot of wire. Okay. I was wrong to think we didn't need that much wire. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll have to get this to be wire again at some point in time. But then again. What's this do? This does 120. Oh, oh, don't worry. I'll set this up in between episodes and I'll get uh, copper sheets, a wire and a cup cable thing again. It'll be nice and easy, nice and simple, nice and pretty. Uh, so yeah, we will go and put a space below it now. I think this will be enough room. No, <clears throat> I don't think this will be enough room. That looks like limestone. I won't go that way. Where will I put it? Where will I put it? Where will I put it? Let's see, let's see. Because I, it's a big building. It's a very big building. So yeah, it's a special building. It's called the Space Elevator. It's a gigantic building. And yeah, it, uh, it'd be big. It be humongous. And I don't know where I'm going to put this thing. Seems like anywhere I put it's too, not enough room for it. Was that thing like that thing huge? They can't even put it here can't put it down there because it's encroaching. Might be able to do it there. Floor too steep. Yeah, so let's go and I'm gonna quickly just, you know, make a, a bit more room for me here. I'm gonna make sure I don't have enough concrete now. That's all right, I'll go pick up some more concrete. Fine, it is fine. Don't have to worry too much. There is enough concrete available. All right. uh. As small as this building is, it's really annoying because of how big it is. And like, you can make it the center point of your building. You can make it the center point of your machine, uh, of your operation. But ah, use yeah, that. Okay. Sliding is a cool way to get traverse. If you're running, you can slide. Else. See? Alright. So now let's go get our space elevator. Ugh. Gigantic thing that you are. 
let's make sure we get our thing here and it's gigantic it's going to take everything we've got from our inventory and just throw it right at it oh those sounds seems like something big's happening Is that coming from space? Oh shit. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Whoa. That thing sounds heavy. <laughs> That's so cool. Well, all right. First thing we have to do, we have to make 50 smart plating, right? So let's see how many we've got going none right now so hmm. we've got a lot of reinforced iron plates sitting there we've got a fair amount of rotors going on there i'm gonna put you back to 100 percent so that you know it can do its thing so i need to make 50 this so you know what i'm gonna cut it there for today guys you've seen the giant space elevator i'm gonna go make my 50 smart plates and then in the next episode we'll send this up to space